I live alone in a 46 square meter apartment in Shanghai's Jing'an district. My building's across the road from a popular mall, right on top of a subway station, two stops away from my work, and about a hundred meters from a famous historical landmark and the Suzhou Creek. The Silhang Warehouse was the site of a five-day battle between Chinese soldiers and invading Japanese. My apartment building is what we call lao fang zhe, or old home in Shanghai. Even though it was only built in the mid 80s, I live here on the sixth floor. In the distance, you can see Shanghai's famous skyline, which is just a 20-minute walk down the Suzhou Creek. When you first walk in, you enter my small kitchen, which is really quite typical of kitchens in these types of buildings in Shanghai. It's small, but just enough for me. I hardly ever cook, to be honest, because delivery here in Shanghai is really convenient, fast, and cheap. I have a tiny bathroom with just a toilet and shower. Then you walk into my little lounge, which I've changed a little bit since I moved in, just to give the tiny space a bit of character. This corner couch is really comfy, and it can be arranged into a bed if I have anyone staying over. And I added this fake foliage to the wall here just because the paint kept cracking and I wanted to cover it up. This woolen piece I made myself and hung it here to tie in some of the colors in the space. I added a few big mirrors just to make the room feel larger than it is and also to bounce some light from the small window. This is my bedroom, which is probably where I spend most of my time when I'm at home. It's a relatively big space with a huge bed, a generous closet, plus a desk and an armchair that I bought online. This artwork was made by one of my followers online. I think it adds a nice pop of color, even though it's a little bit cocky. My room gets a lot of morning sun, which my cats and I really enjoy. I had this double glazed sliding door installed a few months ago to cut down some of the noise and keep in some of the heat in winter. It's created a kind of outdoor indoor space where I've added lots of greenery. My cats love to sit here in the sun and enjoy the view of the outside world. I used this mat to delineate the room a little bit and give the feeling that this space was somehow separate from my sleeping area. My favorite time is probably at night when I can illuminate the place with moody and relaxing lighting. When I come home from work after a long day, I really can't stand bright white lighting. And I feel like home really needs to be a bit of a sanctuary. This darker, more subdued lighting really makes me feel safe and cozy. I've lived here for nearly four years and I have no plans to move anytime soon. Thanks for visiting my Shanghai home.